imagine going from living in a small fish shack to living lavish in Houston, Texas? This is exactly what Carlos Cray did. All right, so this image shows Carlos Cray. I don't know if y'all watch baseball or many sports, but he is the shortstop for the Houston Astros. So a little background check on him. Uh, he was born September 22nd, 1994. He's 6'4". Just recently signed a one-year, $5 million contract with the Houston Astros again. Uh, he was raised in Puerto Rico, Ponce, Puerto Rico. And his dad's name is Carlos as well. His mom's name, I, I honestly do not know how to pronounce, San, Sandy Bell. Um, they were very poor. The area was high crime rate and very, very poverty. It was a, like a fishing shack they lived in. It was one bathroom, one bedroom. Uh, one of the things Carlos always took for granted was him and his dad used to throw baseball in the alley behind their house. Um, at a young age, Carlos was very, very talented in baseball. He was very good offensively, but not very good defensively. Uh, I think at the age of 18, he transferred, no, at 16, he transferred to a private school called Puerto Rico Baseball Academy, which is very popular. Many big Puerto Rican baseball players <coughs> in the major leagues are from there. And this is really where his uh, baseball career skyrocketed. Uh, one of the big struggles he had growing up was in his hometown of Ponce, Puerto Rico. They had Hurricane Maria, which this is just an image of it in 2012. His dad and him had to pick up multiple low, like very like dirt jobs, just whatever they could find, just to get themselves back on their feet. Uh, also, there was very, a lot of floods that happened um, while he was a child there. So that's just one of the challenges he had to go through. Uh, a couple of stats and facts about Carlos Gray. So I don't know if y'all know much about the MLB draft, but there is sometimes around like 1,500 picks in the MLB draft. And he was, in 2012, he was the number one overall draft pick in round one. So that, that is a very huge accomplishment. Um, in 2012, Carlos became the youngest shortstop to hit a home run in any playoff game. So that's, that's a hollow. That's like a huge achievement for him as well. All right, and in 2017, the Houston Astros won the World Series, and he was named the L AL Player of the uh, Year, which I'm not sh big into baseball. I don't know what the AL means. American. American, okay, that's very sad. You know that, and I do not. Um, <laughs> Uh, a couple of lessons to learn from Correa's journey, which is it's kind of an inspirational journey if you take it out, <clears throat> put yourself in his perspective. Um, it honestly does not matter where you come from and how much money you have. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. Because I'm sure he didn't think he would be where he was today. Um, another thing is whatever God throws at you, take it as a lesson and learn from it. Don't let one mistake define you. Um, Another big thing is always push yourself to be the very best you can, because I'm sure he had a lot of potential and some people told him that he couldn't do what he did. Um, also, to take your, just out of baseball, whatever thing you're passionate about, if you, you should just pursue it, that's what. Uh, one uh, big thing he said was, here's a quote that the 2017 season, it was a, uh, he said, quote for quote, it's a season I thought would only happen in a dream. So therefore, he would never thought he would be in a situation to win a World Series, but he was. And there's probably a million other stories that are just like Carlos Correa that made it to the big, big leagues, but never thought they would have. And thank you. Any questions? Thank you.